Welcome back everyone, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So today we're gonna to try a 450 North uh, slushy. This is Abominable Fluff. Uh, percentage is 5.3 on this. Um, I will say a disclaimer, I believe uh, they had a, like an ABV dispute a while ago. Um, so it's up to you if you want to believe the 4.3. I don't know if they fixed it or not. I'm hoping so, uh, but yeah, I just had to buy them. Now, um, another thing. You, you paid $9.99 for this beer. Why? Because that's Did how much they it? are. Have to try them. So Slush Mellow uh, Smoothie Style Sour Ale. Uh, blackberry, banana, marshmallow, and strawberry are what's in this. That's expensive. Correct. But I have to try them at least. I have had some other 450 North beers, but I believe they were all IPAs. And these just came to Michigan. You, you wanted me to drink these with you because they're expensive beer? <laughs> now, and you can kind of compare this to Smooge. A little bit, okay. You know, priciness. Um, when you look at that way, um, I did have this upside down, but don't give me any more. Okay, um, for that because that's usually uh, seventeen ninety nine or whatever a four pack. But those are twelve ounce cans. This is sixteen. This is actually two beers, right? Really? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I can't, I'm not, oh, okay. It doesn't really say anything on here. But, yeah, so let's get into it. <laughs> no head, typical color, purple, Barney purple. Um, it looks like a smoothie. Smell. I would say it's going to be blackberry. I mean, that's the right. color. Well, right? I think blackberry is going to take over most. I smell banana. Yeah, like a... a, a a seedy berry f fermented banana. But I do think that banana sticks out more than anything. But if it's supposed to be like a marshmallow fluff, why wouldn't there be vanilla and that fluff marshmallow in there? Maybe it's in this, the taste. It does smell like fermented uh, like a little bit of alcohol but okay let's taste i'm not it's, it's kind of now it's been a, a while since i've had a sour <laughs> beer it's been probably months since I've had a sour beer. Um, this is really weird. Um, it's got the sourness. That fruited sour is there. The, like the sour slash tartness. I know. It's like. Is there. The dark berries there. I get the banana, especially in the aftertaste. The yeah. banana really comes off. Where's the marshmallow? I think that it's going to, I think all of the fruit is going to overpower a marshmallow flavor. Marshmallow flavor is not strong. Well, yeah. right, but usually that marshmallow is going to bring sweetness, vanilla. It is sweet. But it is. I, 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 uh, I think I it think it's should good. be. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. But I'm telling you, I would not buy it again for 10 bucks for this. No. No. Um, but I, I guess I'm trying to go by what the can says it is. Yeah. It's more berry and banana than it is marshmallow fluff or anything like that. So I'm not, I, I don't understand why you would put that berry in a marshmallow fluff when the berry's going to take over all that. Right? I'm not gonna argue about it. I think it tastes fine. I don't think I don't think it's worth the price. It's a blackberry banana smoothie type of beer. I don't taste very much strawberry, which is fine. Yeah, but is strawberry in there? Yes. Yeah. Um 
overall, I would give this like a four out of five. I don't think it's stellar. I don't think, I think it's, after you drink it, the tartness goes away, the sour. Because I, you know, the first couple drinks, I'm like, whoa, I could taste, right. I could get it on my tongue. But I don't know. I don't think it's like, holy cow, that's so good. Right. And I'm trying to think, because we like the smooches so much, and we've had those before we had one of these. Yeah. Are we basing... Yeah, you, could be. You know, would this score... Because I would go 4-2. Four, Did four, we do the Berry Blast? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think we did. I think we've done them all. I think that you did that one probably by yourself. Okay. But, but that one was better. I think that one was more flavorful. Right. This... I mean, it's easy drinking. It, it is a smoothie. I just... I If you were going by Abominable Fluff, and it has... The marshmallows and everything on it, I would go a one out of five. But for the taste and what you're getting out of the can, I would go four out of five. I think that you're wanting it to be sweet, and I don't want a sweet. Well, I don't want a sweet, sweet sour ale. I well, don't want a sweet sour ale. Right, but I'm I'm going. I picked it up based upon what was on the can. You are really salty about this marshmallow. Well, I. I mean, that's just like if somebody put an IPA reading on the the can and it was a porter. I'm just saying. I think that the marshmallow probably is what? in there. It's just overpowered by the strawberry, the blackberry, and the banana. You know strawberry banana in particular are stronger flavors. Well, it will be more prominent. Well, correct, but... Again, when I bought this, I thought we would get vanilla and more sweetness. I'm going to explain to you that this is not the first beer you bought that has disappointed well, you. I know. And you're being like super crabby about it. Hey, for, for 10 bucks a can, and I mean, when you I look agree at with that, it, and I no. did not know you spent that much on them, or I would have said, no. I don't know why you did that. But obviously, they do put what is in it on the side. Which, are most people looking at that? My guess is no. At least, I never look at that. I look at the front, and I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be somewhat blue, and it's going to be more marshmallow, or it's going to be sweet vanilla uh, more than anything. And it's almost the total opposite. The sweetness is there, not at a high level, but it should have been a berry something. So, if we check untapped, one of my friends has had it. Five is what he gave it. Uh, almost 900 people have checked it in, 4.37. Uh, for the style guidelines, banana thick, smooth, berry, sour. So again, uh, See, they're style, not getting that marshmallow either. Right, but style guidelines, if, if 450 actually put these in, I would think you would put sweet, vanilla, marshmallow it, in there. But, no, because it's not going to be vanilla. It's not vanilla heavy. Then why would you call it slush, mellow, abominable fluff? Oh, my God. So, that's just I me. I think that I need to drink another one. Because this is getting <laughs> we got too, this two is more. difficult, and this is my first one today. <laughs> so, yeah. It, it, I, I Try wouldn't buy it, it again. if you want to have overpriced tart beer. It yeah. doesn't taste bad, though. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the thing. It's good. Is it worth $10? No. Would it be worth six dollars? Yes, I mean, that's just. My I think opinion. maybe that would be all right. Yeah. I, you know, based on what we've paid for other ones that have been worse, but I just feel like that. I feel like that is really steep. Yeah, I really do. I understand they're using all real fruit, hopefully, um, in this. But again, nine ninety nine. You're talking barrel aged beers, and well, right. Let's have a chocolate cherry stout for nine ninety nine. Yeah, but again, if we were talking five years ago, this can probably would have said said ten point five percent ABV on it, and then okay. But are you getting that ten point five? No. So you yeah. done? I'm are done. you done? Yes, I got two more. Great. <laughs> Get ready. So Bye. if you enjoyed this review, check some more out over here. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Don't forget to drink good craft beer.